Hi. Today I shall be talking about whether the open economy system can affect money demand function M3 or not. And this is the estimation of money demand function in the economy using the variable. The variable, as you can see it here, M3, which is demand for money, GDP, or is domestic product, rate, which is bank interest rate, FD, which is financial development, CPI, consumer price index, and TO, a trade openings. Then dummy variable started from 1990 to 19 until 1995, which is zero, and from let me just put it here. Dummy equals zero. Nineteen ninety-five until sorry. 1990 until 1995. D equal 1 start from 1995 until 2012. Then this one here sorry This is here. Close economy. And from 1995, open economy. So if we See the effect of dummy variable from 1995-2012 if it is positive, which is D1, and significant, this means that the economic system will affect M3 demand for money. In this case, now, M3 is dependent variable, GDP, financial development, CPI, rate, trade openings, and dummy variable, all they are independent variable. So if the dummy variable becomes significant and the coefficient positive, that means the economic system has an impact on the money demand, M3. But if the dummy variable is not significant, meaning that open economy system has no effect, has no impact on the money demand M3. So now we are going to test the model here, whether the open economy system can affect demand for money or not. We'll open the data as a group. And this is the data. This is the dummy variable d equals zero from 1990 to 1959, and from 59 until 1959, and from 1996. Let me just change it here. 1996. Sorry. To 2012 and open economy and then we can test it then we have to estimate the model and this is the model here we'll open it we go to quick estimate equation and then we write the variable here 
m3 constant gdp financial development cpi rate of interest trade openings and dummy variable this is the equation here this is dependent variable and this is the independent variable and here we'll test it by the square method the year 1990 2012 and press ok so this is the outcome okay this is the out outcome as you can see it here if i start with i'll check cpi for example which is positive and statistically significant less than five percent this is explain our dependent variable which is uh, m3 okay so this means that if cpi goes up m3 goes up and if cpi goes down m3 goes down because there is positive coefficient of cpi and the statistically significant which means that cpi positively affect and influence the dependent variable m3 statistically significant gdp is positive and statistically significant this means that when gdp goes up m3 goes up and vice versa which means that gdp positively explain the m3 and statistically significant so the rate of interest is significant as you can see it and negative which means that if the interest rate goes up m3 goes down and vice versa trade openings negative and statistically significant this affect m3 negatively and explain the m3 negatively and statistically significant now we'll go to a dummy variable the dummy variable as you can see it positive and statistically significant and this means that when the sign is positive and less than five percent statistically significant it means that open economic system can affect the dependent variable m3 positively so here if a statistic we can go test r square 99.70 which is fitted the data or the model nicely if a statistic corresponding to p-value is statistically significant at 5% level which is jointly jointly so all the independent variable here jointly affect or influence the dependent variable m3 here because f statistic is statistically significant and less than 5% now we are going to move to see the efficiency of the model i'll go to view test the diagnostic test i'll go to view residual diagnostic i'll go to serial correlation leave the lag to press ok you can see here or observe r square corresponding to p value of k square 38.88 percent greater than five percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather accept null hypothesis what is null hypothesis null hypothesis uh, the model has no serial correlation and we accept it the second one we have to check for heteroscedasticity using Bruce Pagan Godfrey and then press OK you can see here our observed R square corresponding to P value of chi square 84.05 which is greater than 5% meaning that the model is free from heteroscedasticity and then we check for arch effect leave the lag as it is one 
and the arch effect observed R square corresponding to p-value of chi square 11.42, which is greater than 5%. This means that we cannot reject null hypothesis, rather accept null hypothesis and the model free from arch effect. And then we test for the normality, I'll go to residual diagnostic, hetero hist uh, histogram and normal uh, normality, you can see that the Jacabra corresponding value is 0.38 correspond to, to the probability 82.45% greater than 5%, so we cannot reject null hypothesis, which means that we the model or the residual are normally distributed. And then we have to go and check for the model stability, and then I go to view, stability diagnostic, recursive estimate ordinary square only. I test for caution test first and press OK. You can see the line lying between the line and between the two red line, which is 5% significant level. This means that the parameters and or the model uh, stable.